to uh, Todd and Holly and Edwin Iwer um, in the acknowledgement. And at the last minute, um, Todd very quietly asked me to take it out. Um, so they're humble as well as being good at making books. I'm going to read uh, three poems from across the collection. Um, the collection's in four parts, uh, and they appear here roughly in, in the um, order that they were written. So this first is called The Six Figurines, um, which is a section of poems um, set in and around an orphanage in Bordeaux. And this is paper. You just put the mic on the Yeah? Nothing coming out. Is that better? Yeah. Thanks. Favourite. Somebody left the gate open. They are stealing old toast from a skip in the other field. Some have fists of clear plastic to crackle and own. We chase them back. It's like getting bees into jars. All scattering except Elaine, his little yellow head hung over the pile of rubbish and the dab of paint. Inside his head is a yellow chip, growing otios and growing. Every so often something attempts to take off from his throat, or he walks above the ground, a smile always with him in its grip. Friends bring him off and a scuffle 
shattering fluorescent bulbs of the slip and shove through the door. So out under the dance floor's UV, we glow like an exclusive club, which I hoped wasn't some reality TV setup, but more in my natural philosopher's inquiry, like whether the glow worm's dance is essential to its glow, keeping under a bell jar specimens that declined and their luminous humour dry until it was extinguished with their bodies, observed the same gentle Dr. Brown, who to the Norwich court hearing the case of two ugly old women accused of invisibly inciting two young girls to vomit needles and nails, of vanishing a firkin of herrings and other witchery. Said, the devil, said that the devil had surely played his part to stir up and excite the humours of the children's bodies, and the witches were hanged, the last almost in England, although how much we should attribute this to Brown's testimony, and how we should judge him depends, it seems, on our impression of the jury's susceptibility to the glow of the little fame. And if one believes the best part of a life vouches for the rest. Perhaps on that day the doctor had an excess of colour, or perhaps nobody should be judged by the habitual cruelties of their age. And perhaps the man selling vapours in the toilets had it coming, most likely slipping watches from drunken wrists while stinging them with watery lavender and citrus. And perhaps it's a relief to find that when that fluorescent toilet light goes out each night he is completely to love. So to love and to hate him is only to love and to hate the impure atmosphere. This is the final poem of the collection. Free reading we W. Set off a flock of starlings from a roadside tree. A mess of falling pieces that confuse the road enclose another tree. A same new form, a kind of birth. We break it soon enough, arriving off they go from tree to tree to tree until the road is out of trees.